Hello students, today we are going to read and recite a poem named Chivi, composed by Michael Rosen. Michael Rosen was born on 7th May 1946 in England. He was appointed the 6th British Children's Laureate in 2007. His first book of poetry for children was Mind Your Business. In 1947, the poem deals with the feelings of the poet, like other small kids who feel irritated by their elders, who always instruct them to do or not to do. Let's recite the poem. Grown-ups say things like, speak up, don't talk with your mouth, full, don't stare. It is the habit of grown-ups to counsel the young ones. They keep instructing the child to speak up when the child does not want to make reply. The grown-ups further instruct him not to talk loudly and that he should not stare at anything. They also tell them not to speak when there is food in your mouth. Don't point, don't pick your nose. The grown-ups also advise the child not to point fingers at anybody. They even tell him not to pick nose means clean his nose with his fingers. Sit up, say please, less noise. The elders too have directions to give him. They tell him to sit with proper posture and say please. They him to become less noisy. They must follow these instructions. They tell him to become less noisy. They must follow these instructions. Shut the door behind you. Don't drag your feet. Haven't you got a hanky? Take your hands out of your pockets. In this stanza of the poem, the grown-ups instruct the children that they should also shut the door behind them when they leave the room. The children are advised that they should not drag their feet while walking and they should keep handkerchief with them. They tell children to keep their hands out of their pockets. Pull your socks up, stand up straight, say thank you, don't interrupt. No one thinks you are funny. Take your elbow off the table. Can't you make your own mind up about anything? In this concluding stanza, the grown-ups tell that the child has to be refined being. He should wear his socks properly and pull them up. He should stand straight and not clumsily. He should also take care to say thank you on being given something. He should never interrupt during conversation. The grown-ups tell the children not to keep their elbows on the table and he should not behave in a funny manner to draw attention. They teach children how to behave in a cultured manner, yet at the same time, they want them to learn to think independently. The moral of this poem is, the children should be wise enough to take their own decision and behave in good manner. Now let's see what we have learned from the poem. So students, you have to complete this statement by choosing the correct option. Let's read the statement. The instructions are given so that options are the children become indisciplined, the children misbehave, the children become mature, the children learn good manners. So the option that will complete this statement is the children learn good manners. Next is who have the habit of always instructing the child. Options are adolescents, grown-ups, mothers and parents. Correct answer is grown-ups. Third is where there is no liberty, the child can't dash. So, let's find out the right answer. Options are do his best, make his own decision, satisfy his desire of excelling or work to the maximum. Correct option is make his own decision. 
Fourth statement is to behave in public one needs. So let's complete this statement by choosing the correct option. Options are to be well mannered, to groom himself, to take training, or to be polite. Correct option is to be well mannered. Now it's time to practice some questions from the poem. Let's see what comes in working with the poem. Question number one is Why do you think grown ups say the kinds of things mentioned in the poem? Is it important that they teach children good manners and how to behave in public? Second question is The last two lines of the poem are not prohibitions or instructions. What is the adult now asking the child to do? Do you think the poet is suggesting that this is unreasonable? Why? That's it for today kids. Till then find your motto in till then find your motto in life. Thanks for watching. See you next video.